you know what? Ooh. I thought we were done with the 50 Hz versus 60 Hz series. I mean, I have done Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 for you guys. But the comments just kept on coming. You wanted more. You wanted to see Sonic CD. Okay, okay. There has been a big, massive reason why I've been kind of putting this off. Just look how expensive the equipment is. That's going to do some damage to your wallet, isn't it? But as a massive thanks for getting me to 30,000 subscribers, today is the day where I'm going to be doing Sonic CD 50 Hertz versus 60 Hertz. Let's go! To avoid sounding like a broken record, I'm not going to be going into too much depth with this game. If you want to see a more informatic analysis with this, then check out the playlist in the corner where I show Sonic 1, 2 and 3. In fact, let's just get a quick summary out of the way. In 50Hz the timer is still slow, you still got that widescreen effect because of the higher resolution, Sonic still feels very floaty, you know, the usual. What we're here for is just to compare the demos, the loading times, and to see how the music performs. Now don't go expecting that the CD audio is going to be any different between the two, I'm actually talking about the past music, which uses the FM chip. I'm actually quite curious to check this out because I have no idea if it's been optimised or not. Let's have a gander. So on the left we've got 50 hertz and on the right we've got 60 hertz. Do they actually stay in sync? Surprisingly, yes, so it doesn't suffer the same issue that Sonic 3 does. Alright, so we're all going to be guessing that the demos are going to be completely out of sync, seeing that Sonic still has his floatiness in 50Hz. But just how much difference is there? From here, I'm going to be starting one frame into the demo, and it will end with one frame out of the demo. Let's start it up. Measuring from the previous three classics, this is actually the quickest difference yet. I'll beat 50Hz still lagging behind. Alright, so we all saw that coming with the demo. But how about this? Are FM3s any different? With the same test criteria as the demos, let the movie commence! Now I am quite gobsmacked, that is in complete sync. Yeah, you can tell there's a little bit of frame stuttering with the 50Hz version, but otherwise, I'm really chuffed with that result. Something that I am keen to try out are the loading times. Is 60Hz the superior way to go? So with this one, we'll start with one frame out of the title screen, and then we'll stop the timer as soon as the level timer starts. Holy 
see chicken nuggets. Did you see that? When it comes to loading times, 50 hertz is actually just in the lead. That 60 hertz actually makes up for it during the title cards and therefore clutches first place. I tried this three times and every single test, it was the same result, give or take a split second or two. But that is unbelievably surprising. The loading times for 50 hertz may be more accelerated, but the 60 hertz version will get you into the game quicker. As I was playing the game, I didn't really find any advantages to 50 hertz. The only one that I thought would have been better was the special stages. It goes even slower in 50 hertz, therefore I have a better time to react and get the UFOs. But surprisingly, I, I can't explain why, but I did worse. I just kept missing them over and over. 60 hertz, I wasn't really much better. Maybe I'm just terrible at the UFO special stage. That's probably it. If I really put my mind to it, the only thing I can think that 50 hertz trumps 60 hertz over is getting into the past or future. I've always had a problem with Sonic CD's level design. Trying to get into the past or future is really tough with all these walls stopping you and bad nicks and etc. In 50 hertz, you've just got that extra bit of time to react and avoid these obstacles. Therefore, entering the past or future a lot easier. But seriously, I think that's the only performance upgrade that 50 hertz will get you. So it really does look like that the 50 hertz version of Sonic CD probably isn't the best way to play on an actual Mega CD. And you want the 60 hertz for version. Uh, I've done it again. I've got two of these, haven't I? That's right, guys. I am doing another giveaway where you've got the opportunity to win the Japanese version of Sonic CD. To get this chance on winning this game, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and retweet this tweet, which I have pinned on my Twitter page up until the 8th of February, which on that day, I'll be doing a live stream of Sonic CD and you get to pick whether it's 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Vote now, and at the end of the stream I'll be announcing the lucky winner of the Japanese Sonic CD game. And this has been a special video for getting me to 30,000 subscribers. Yet again, thank you ever so much from the bottom of my heart. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing for my 40,000 subscriber special.